Hey, this is Robert, and today I'm going to show you how to uh, put in a virtual studio background using a green screen in iMovie. And this is iMovie 10.0.6, uh, um, so let's jump right in here real quick. Basically what we have here is a talent shot, shot on a green screen, and then an animated background that is used in place of the green screen background. So that's kind of what the final product looks like. And so now what I'll do is delete this out and show you how I did it. Um, it's actually pretty easy. There's not a whole lot of uh, tweaking that you can do in iMovie, but it does make it very easy to, um, to set up a green screen um, production. So what you'll need is uh, two shots. One shot is your talent shot on a green screen, and then the other shot is your background. Um, could be a studio, could be a still image, could be an animation. Um, graphic, whatever uh, you have that you can use. So first thing I will do is drag and drop this new studio background onto the timeline and then drag and drop our green screen footage on top of that, like so. Now there's some emails coming in. And so now if we go back to the timeline, you can see our talent on a green screen. And so what we need to do is remove the, uh, the green screen in the background so that we can see the virtual studio underneath. And the way we'll do that is to select our, uh, our green screen clip right here, come up to the video and overlay settings, you click that, and then you click the drop down where it says cutaway and you choose green slash blue screen. When you do that, iMovie will detect if it's a green screen or a blue screen. Um, and then give you a few other options that you can use to kind of dial in your green screen uh, key. The main one here is uh, softness. This one allows you to kind of change the amount of softness that is around the, uh, the key on your subject. You can also see that if you go too far, you'll get a little bit of transparency in with your subject, and so you kind of have to adjust that a little bit. You also have a, uh, a crop tool, which allows you to just do a rough crop around your subject. So it's just a four point crop. And then you also have a eraser, which if you have additional um, shadows in your green screen or blue screen, if you have any uh, kind of uh, hot spots or dark spots that you need to uh, clean up from the key, then that allows you to do that. And that's pretty much it. The, uh, you basically can, you can play through your scene, kind of see how things work inside the, uh, inside the production. The other thing that you can do with this particular background is it is a uh, it's a perfect loop, and so the beginning and the end are exactly the same. And so if you need to extend it, it's 25 seconds long here. But if you need to extend it for let's say you know five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, then you can copy and paste the background for as many times as you need in your scene. If I zoom out here on the timeline. then we could have a longer presentation up here on this top layer and our background would just loop uh, between the scenes like so there and so that is uh, pretty much the whole thing uh, pretty easy um, iMovie is, is it's, it's a good piece of software if you want to do a little more with it then you'll want to go with like a Final Cut or Premiere Pro something of that nature the, iMovie is great for kind of starting out. It's great for learning and and uh, and figure things out. Um, you're just a little bit limited um, based on the number of layers that you can have in your scene and and that sort of thing. So hope you enjoyed watching this. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll put a link in the description with um, we actually make the background these backgrounds for green screen productions. So if you're interested, feel free to click the link. Thanks for watching. Bye.